And continuing our Kelly Blue Book coverage of the New York Auto Show, we're at the Pontiac Stand, and there's a lot of excitement here. And one of the guys who helps bring that excitement to the Pontiac Stand is with us right now, Michael Simcoe. Thanks well, for joining us. Nice to hey, meet you. And now give us your title. I'm the executive in charge of exterior design here in North America. So okay. I, I cover Pontiac as well as all the other brands. Okay, so you've got the uh, the, the looking down at the forest, the broad uh, picture. I get to, I get to, to uh, see what's being done right across the board. Trucks to, to small car, um, all the designers work, uh, I guess, under my, in my studios. Trucks to small cars and everything in between. And Absolutely. Interesting you mentioned that because behind us is something that is kind of trucks to cars and everything in between. And this, this is sort of the interesting thing. We're, we're uh, do an advertising pitch now. Mm -hmm. GM design is really global these days, and the products that we're standing in front of are uh, actually the, the heritage is Australia. Um, the, the G8 started life as a, as a Holden vehicle down in Australia. The, the um, I guess the, the synergy between the two, the Pontiac brand and the Holden brand, and all about performance and style, um, and particularly rear wheel drive, the guys down there understand it. Um, it fits perfectly, so bring it up here. So uh I, I'm, I'm North America, but I get to play the global game as well. By the way, you're an Aussie, right? Uh, yes, I am. So does this make you proud to see that that Aus, uh, Australian heritage hand on, is hand on heart, yeah. finding its way to North America? Well, tell us a little bit more about the G This is the sport truck, is it? Yeah. It, down in Australia, this would be called a Ute. Here, it's a sports truck, but it's being... I mean, there's a bit of a competition going on uh, where the public are being asked to, to name it because we have no name that describes this vehicle. Uh, You'd understand it from the past here in North America as an El Camino. Yeah, I was going it's, to ask, why is this not an El Camino? Why is it a Pontiac? Because it's not sidetracking. Well, because uh, the relationship to obviously the G8 is, mm -hmm. is, 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 is fixed because you've got the front end of it is essentially the G8 uh, sedan. The rear is, is the, um, oh, I guess, the functional piece of the, of the equation. What you really get, though, is, is a two door coupe. It's a nice way to get into a two door coupe. You can, you can haul around commercial stuff if you want, but that's not the real purpose. This is really a, about lifestyle. You can you can take your, uh, your ski uh, uh, skidoo in the back, you mm -hmm. can take your mountain bikes. It's it's lifestyle piece. Lifestyle vehicle. Uh, well, let's talk a little bit about the functionality. I mean, so you can load it up with mulch and you can, can you actually tow with this thing? Can you? Yeah, this is about uh, from, here's, here's the technical side. I've, <laughs> yeah, not to I'll give, you, I'll, give you, I'll give you approximate numbers. It, yeah, it's yeah. it's a, a payload of uh, carrying weight of a thousand, uh, a thousand pounds in the rear. Mm -hmm and uh, a towing capacity of 2,000, I believe, or 2,100. It, it, it has all the suspension, all the powertrain uh, capacity, its ride and performance and, and handling that the sedan has, mm -hmm. but just with that rather last, the lifestyle additive. And it's, it's a nice, cheap way to get into a high-performance sedan. Uh, so, sorry, high-performance coupe. Most people don't think of trucks as being sporty, um, but how did you uh, how do you take a, a, a truck shape and make it sporty? I mean, clearly this has uh, a fair bit of sport into it. What, aesthetically, how do you achieve that? Uh, it's uh, essentially the body side is is derived from the from the sedan, uh, and if you like the, the appearance of that and the profile of that, it's it's really just a, an interpretation. So. The designers work essentially for this vehicle, work on the body side, the, the, the box rear, and they work on the, the upper here to give it a coupe-like profile. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. The, everyone wants to look good these days. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking about looking good, the GXP, tell us about that. Ah, GXP, well, uh, you dial up the horsepower, you go, you're, taking, you're moving from about 360 in the, in the GT up to 400, and with that you, you have a, a new appearance in the front end, it's a little, a little bit lower, closer mm -hmm. to the ground, more aggressive. 19-inch uh, wheels, uh, they're polished on the, in this vehicle. Uh, you've got the, an option to, to uh, colour code the interior. Uh, it's the, the, the package is essentially the G8, the, the G8 GT, but on a bit more steroid. It's just pushed up a bit. For, for GXP, how, how much is too much? Because you, you want to be aggressive, but, but you can seem garish if you go overboard. Yeah. What's the balance? Um, I think the market for this sort of car in the past, the Pontiac might have, might have been, as you say, might have been garish, and, and, and Bob talks about more plastic pieces that you can add on, you can throw in the back <laughs> of a, an Aztec, but this is not about this. This is a bit more sophisticated. So Pontiac's seductive performance, um, and, and all focused on, on the sport aspect of the four-door sedan, but we're playing the efficiency game, we're playing the, the, the beautifully surfaced vehicle, a little bit more architectural, and without it being cute about it or cliche, it's, it's, there's a, a Europeanness to it now. So it's a bit more sophisticated than, than Pontiac would have, would have understood from the past. Closing out, uh, you're the guy who sort of oversees everything. Yeah. Can I thank you personally for getting rid of the body cladding? Because that's such a bold move and, and, and it's really done wonders. Well, Pontiac's serious now, you see? Yeah. Serious, yeah. serious performance and you, you buy a Pontiac if you want to go fast, do it comfortably, beautiful handling, 
like I said, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new Pontiac. It really supports where they want to go these days. Well, you should be proud. Everything looks uh, beautiful here. Can't wait to actually drive it. Uh, yep. Michael Simcoe, thanks for joining us. You're and welcome. Keep it right here on kellybluebooks.kbb.com for more coverage of the New York Auto Show.